Jibble Time Tracking Tutorial 2023, how to use Jibble for beginners. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day. I bring you back with yet another really fun video. And in this video, we are going to be talking and discussing about Jibble Time Tracking and how you can use this absolutely incredible application and how you can use this absolutely incredible software to help you track time in the easiest, most simplest way possible, okay? And we're gonna be talking about this software in great depth and detail, so please do make sure to fully watch this video till the end to learn all the depths and details about the software, okay? And we're gonna be talking about it in like a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of deep context. So yeah, please do make sure to uh, fully watch this video. And, uh, you know, there's uh, a lot of people have issues with like, you know, the time management, the time handling and all that. So, yeah, that's what we are going to be discussing about. So, yeah, uh, without further ado, let's get straight into this video. Now, to start things off, what we're going to be doing is we are go ahead into our uh, Jibble.io website. OK, this is our main website where we're going to start doing our uh you know um main compulsory tasks so to start with things up obviously when you're in jibble.io you come to their product map and in the product map you can see first of all they have the timesheet app okay employee timesheets for smes and enterprises is available then you have the time clock software you know employee time clock software used by the world's leading companies is also present you have the attendance tracker where the attendance app that can power your workforce is present and the time and attendance software where you can get the time and attendance software for on-site employees. Pretty great and incredible stuff. So to, you know, start yourself off, what you're going to do is you're going to be setting yourself up. So to set yourself up, you're going to go on start now. OK, and once you click on start now, it's going to bring you here where it says create a new account, get started. So you can obviously go ahead on, uh, I want to manage time tracking for my team. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. Obviously over here, you're going to start adding your details. Now for the email, I'm going to be using a temp mail. Okay. You don't necessarily need to follow this step, but uh, I just more uh, prefer doing this over the other email. You can obviously go ahead and use your Gmail or something like that, but I would uh, much more prefer this. Now, once you're done with this, obviously, it's going to bring you to create an account and all that. So we're going to go ahead. Let's start your organizational track. I'm going to just keep a random name, to be honest, right now. Then you're going to add your phone number. OK. And uh, as you can see, I have added my phone number. as So then you're going to add your industry. Let's say I'm going to go with advertising organization size. I'm going to go with this much. I want to choose one or more goals. So there's monitor time and attendance. So see who's working at which location. You can review hours for payroll where you can review attendance and over time for a job costing and track time on projects, which is accurate project tracking and invoicing. OK, and once you do that, what devices will your team be using? OK, it could be mobile apps with GPS and facial recognition, shared kiosk with quick in, in and out uh, with facial recognition and personal computers with clock in and out from the browser. So I'm going to go with personal computers and go on continue. So where did you first hear about this? This could be just random. I'm going to go social media and click on continue. Now, once all of this is done, basically, it's going to load you up. And it's going to send you out to the main continual uh, place. This is your main dashboard. So welcome to Jibble. Let's start with time tracking with Jibble. How to use Jibble. You can obviously do all of that, but I'm going to skip that. And let's talk about the dashboard. Now, once you're in the main dashboard, you know, there's a lot going on. They're going to show you a lot of things and all that. I'm just going to cross that. And once you do that, on the left hand side, you can see your dashboards and everything, right? And in your dashboard, you can see your day, week, and month. These are your, you know, daily analytics, weekly analytics, monthly analytics, and all that. Pretty basic stuff. You can set up actions, set up locations. You can also start with different timesheets, okay? If we come in timesheets over here. Now, as you can see, I have one timesheet. This is your default timesheet that they've already set for you that you can check out for yourself. Then there's the time off, okay? Managing your time off is recording your time off for your team members to have them reflected in timesheets and reports. And then finally, there's reports. OK, you can run reports. You can find track time reports about your, you know, workspace. 
and um, as you can see it kills you all the activities and all the ethics and all that pretty basic stuff then you come over to settings okay this is basically your people's page and on your people's page you can also get a lot of things you can uh, add members to your people's page and uh, a lot of uh, you know a lot of other things so over here you can you know copy the link for this uh, and you can send it to people so they can join or you can just invite by email or phone number so you can send an email invite you can send sms invite and a whole lot more so you know pretty uh easy and great st stuff to you know have a good um member uh, you know advancing and all that so again pretty great and incredible stuff they also have a great chat bot that you can chat to uh that uh, you know tells you a lot of uh things about the website and it's quite helpful so you can obviously go ahead and talk to the chat bot if you want to i'm just going to go ahead and close it for now now once you do that obviously as i stated uh you can add members uh you can add them manually as well okay and the manually addition uh although i would prefer doing it with a link that we just copied but uh, obviously you can do manual as well now let's move on to the main thing which is time tracking okay so this is going to be your time tracking so these time tracking rules are applied as defaults to everyone in the organization unless stated otherwise you can override these settings for each group in group settings so, you know, you have device restrictions, select the platforms that your team members and managers are allowed to clock in and out from. Uh, then you have different restrictions, you know, you have mobile apps, you have shared kiosk, you have your web browser and a whole lot of other things. And then if you scroll down, you have time clock restrictions, you know, require members to track time with additional verification methods in personal mode. Restrictions for kiosk method can be configured in kiosk settings on shared devices. Okay. And moving on, you know, you have uh, the flexible thing. So good for teams with higher on-site autonomy, face recognition disabled, selfie capturing not required, GPS location also not required. Then there's obviously the moderate, the strict. You can obviously choose whatever works best for you. Once you do that, you're obviously going to fill out all these things. You're going to clock in, clock out. You can keep a work schedule, set up all these work schedules. So, you know, you get a proper scheduled output that you're going to work with there's time off and holidays okay which gives you a proper holiday calendar pretty great stuff there's different locations that you can set you know add locations to track time with your gps uh, many activities and projects also so you can add activities that uh, you can set different times for it and obviously those activities uh, can go on for you know like lots and lots of minutes or they can go for you know very short brief periods of time okay so once you know you understand the uh, basic concept of that yeah you're going to be pretty good to go and once you do all of that you're going to click this play button over here which will confirm your clock in and you're just going to save and this is going to clock you in and then it's going to time you okay and then once you are done okay you can just clock yourself out and as you can see that will basically um you know keep a set time period for everything you do so yeah Basically, that's about it for this video. Now, if you enjoyed it, please do drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, let me know down in the comments below and I'll make more for you. But yeah, until then, I hope you all keep having a great and uh, incredible day. That was all from me and I'll be seeing all of you incredible people next time. Goodbye.